DXM 1800 milligrams. First time trip. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Grotesquery Concealed off the drugsforum.com. The drug use was dextromethorphan at a dose of 1800 milligrams. The run administration was through liquid Robocough, age 28, prior experience. He has tripped on Sykes before, and the setting was at his house, which was in Canada. So this is a crazy dose. I do believe this is the largest DXM dose we have ever covered. And for the first time ever, I mean, the dude's wild and is all I'm saying. But the effects do seem to be, you know, somewhat on par of what you would expect. I mean, what would you expect at that high of a dose, though? I mean, really, I mean, just... Let me know what you guys think about this uh, in terms of dosage and just intensity. But regardless, it's pretty interesting, and I think you guys are going to like it. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Well, here is my experience of my first DXM trip. I try to remember everything as best as I can, but some parts were very hazy, understandably, and hard to convey. I'll give a little information about who I am and all that jazz. I'm a 28 year old guy from a middle of nowhere town with nothing to do in Saskatchewan, Canada. I suffer from major depressive disorder and generalized anxiety disorder. I've been on and off of drugs for about 15 years and am quite experienced with a variety of substances. When it comes to drugs, I don't have many inhibitions about taking large doses or doing really whatever I can get my hands on. I've done a lot of drugs, but I'm a total newbie when it comes to dissociate substances. Anyway, here's the tale of the trip as best as I can remember. DXM 1800mg, split into 4 doses, taken within a period of 2 hours. 2 o'clock. After waiting weeks for my Robocough to come in the mail, I opened my mailbox and was delighted that it had finally arrived. I had read many articles online saying that Robocough is the cleanest way to experience DXM, aside from pure powder of course. I had done a fair bit of research about dosages, onset of action, plateaus, etc. But when I do substances, I generally just like to wing it and take more if I'm not getting the desired effect. 2.30. After deciding in my head how many of the bottles to take, I decide to pour one of the 490 milligram bottles in a glass and down the entire thing. Note, I haven't eaten in about 16 hours, so this is on an empty stomach. Being a little bit nervous that I might have taken too much for my first time, I decide to go lay on the couch and throw on the TV and just chill and wait for the come up. 3 o'clock. I'm starting to feel a slight drunken feeling, kind of like I just slammed some alcohol, but noticeably different. I giggle and make my way to the bathroom to urinate, noticing my coordination is a tad off, but I'm content and a bit euphoric. I can tell I'm looking forward to this experience. 3.30. I'm back on the couch and decide to put on the movie Train Spotting, as it's one of my favorite movies to trip out to. I can start to feel a warm sensation and a slight detachment from my surroundings taking over, but it's still very subtle in nature. 3.45. I decide that I'm not getting the desired effect, so I get up. Now this time, when I try to walk, I am noticing that I'm walking very heavily, and my coordination is definitely hard to control. If I were in a public place, I know I definitely would have looked like a zombie. Anyway, I make my way to the kitchen pour another bottle of the Robocough in a glass, and chug it. I go lay back down on the couch, excited for the already interesting experience to get even better. 4 o'clock. This is when my body is starting to feel incredibly detached and heavy, and now I'm noticing some visual distortion. My head feels like it's not attached to my body, and I can barely concentrate on the movie. I'm just lying on the couch, enjoying the physical feelings, and visuals that I'm experiencing. It kind of reminds me of ecstasy in terms of the physical euphoria, and the mental dissociation of course, 
is new to me. I look at my ceiling and I'm starting to see patterns, almost kind of like faces emerging in stucco. When I would look at different areas of the ceiling, there would be what looked like happy and sad faces. Mostly, it looked just like warping and morphing, kind of like the ceiling was breathing and was alive. It was bizarre to say the least. I'm not quite sure at the moment if I like how I'm feeling mentally, but I decide to just chill and close my eyes. 445. I decide I cannot concentrate on the movie at all, and I start to walk around my apartment just to see how I'm feeling. I can barely walk more than a few steps without pausing because it feels like the earth is dragging me down. It's a very new feeling, different, but really trippy, and I start to chuckle at how fucked up I'm getting, and I'm really starting to enjoy this trip. In terms of thoughts, my ego is dissolving rapidly. I'm questioning who I am, where I live, what I'm doing in life, and I just generally feel like I've transcended to this place where the only thing that matters is this moment in time and nothing else. My concerns, anxiety, and worry are washing away, and honestly, I feel blissful. I head back into the kitchen, and I'm contemplating taking the last two bottles. I think to myself, this trip is really good so far, and since it's my first time tripping on this, I want to make it count, because I probably won't be able to get to this stage again. So me being a tad reckless, I pour the last two bottles into a glass, chug it, and then make my way back to my couch, which seemed to take forever as my balance was so distorted. 5 o'clock. I can feel the first two bottles definitely having a stronger effect now, and I'm a bit worried that the last two I just took minutes ago is going to make this trip uncomfortably intense. But I just chill, close my eyes, and enjoy the euphoric physical and mental feelings I'm having. I'm meditating in a sense, more questions about reality and my position in life, and of course the underlying anxiety that this is going to get way too intense. But now, I cannot concentrate on the movie at all, and it's just background noise to me, so I'm not just silent and alone with my thoughts. By now, I can start to feel what I set out to want in the beginning, complete dissociation and my ego dissolved to its bare core. It's hard to remember what kind of thoughts were going through my head as it seemed like everything I tried to think of would disappear immediately. But at the same time, it felt like I was learning more about myself. I decide to walk around my apartment again to gauge my coordination. By now, my legs feel like jelly and I almost fall over. But luckily, I make it to my bedroom and collapse on my bed. I'm relieved but also a bit upset that I took too much DXM for my first time as I would have liked to go outside and take a walk. I live near a forested area and love tripping out while in the woods, or something instead of being housebound, but still, I'm very much enjoying how I'm feeling. 6 o'clock. Still mostly the same feelings as before, body dissociation, visual perceptive changes, which by now have taken the form of what I describe are geometric lines covering the walls. It almost reminds me of spiders or something, which kind of freaked me out, but I'm very good at reminding myself that I've taken drugs and that what I'm seeing isn't reality. It still looked just like more warping and morphing along the walls, but still is very distracting and I can only focus on one section of the wall at a time. 7 o'clock by now I'm starting to feel very tired, in a good way though, not like the whole I'm too fucked up, I need to sleep way. I feel incredibly content and euphoric and I'm so thankful that this trip went relatively smoothly. I finally fall asleep with nothing but pure bliss surrounding my mind. 11am, the next day. I wake up feeling in one of the most refreshing ways I've ever felt. I feel like I've just experienced one of the most beautiful experiences in my life, and it truly was. I'm happy. I feel good. I feel social. I am so content. Even I'm surprised as I really never feel this way. Thinking about the trip, one of the first things that comes into my mind is, I want to do it again, but not in the way of like dosing a stimulant or an opiate, but in a way of wanting to find out more about myself internally. What makes my mind tick 
etc. Conclusion By far one of the best experiences I've ever had. Words don't really do it justice how good it felt during the experience and during the afterglow the next day. But caution to all those interested in tripping. If you are susceptible to any kind of psychotic symptoms, you might have a really bad time. Because with DXM, you are going to feel incredibly detached from your own body and it's going to feel very foreign, especially if you aren't used to dissociatives. I will definitely be doing DXM again in the future. Also, Robocop really is probably the best way to trip on DXM. No nausea at all. Literally zero. Which was a godsend because I've heard horror stories from others who gulp down a bunch of pills and then are glued to the toilet for their entire trip. Anyways, stay safe. Until next time, peace. So yeah, that was one hell of a dose, and though he did describe going through major dissociation and ego dissolvement, I feel like he underplayed how intense the whole thing probably was. Now I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure thus far this has been the largest dose we've covered, with the second highest dose coming in at 1100 milligrams, but we'll bring that up a bit later. Now this was for sure a strong fourth plateau experience. But before we actually start breaking down this experience and comparing it, let's talk about DXM and what it is for those of you who are unaware and how it's possible to trip from it. So dextromethorphan is commonly used through over-the-counter cough suppressants, the most common ones being Robocough and Robitussin, but nowhere near limited to just those brands. Now this from the get-go doesn't sit right with everyone because, well, you're overdosing on over-the-counter medicine just to get high. And when you think about that, it's, you know, kind of like crackhead behavior. It may just seem desperate to some people. Many people come to fear that there's a heavy degree of danger associated with taking so much, but really dangers tend to be present mainly only when there's other active ingredients with your particular brand. Now that isn't to say that DXM doesn't have the potential to kill you on its own, especially when considering the dose taken in this report. Now dosing is going to vary by weight, and sadly, grotesquely didn't provide that information in his report, but typically, risk of death is thought to be around at least 2 grams if not more, unless if you weigh like 100 pounds, but assuming he wasn't a twig, he probably was out of death's reach. But speaking about dosing, the intensity of the experience as well as what you experience will be influenced differently based on what plateau you end up in. And what do I mean by plateau? Well, most people commonly associate the experience with having at least four different levels of high. Typically, we see more of the recreational effects being present on the lower plateaus, while more spiritual and hallucinatory effects are more apparent on the higher plateaus. But I'm not going to break down each plateau here. What's important to understand here is that this report represents a deep fourth and he presents some of the effects from a solid second. And looking at his experience specifically, I'd say for the most part he seemed ready for the dissociative experience and probably was naturally inclined to enjoy it. He did handle the trip very well, especially considering it was his first time on a dissociative at all, but his prior experience most likely prepared him. Some people who haven't been in these types of ego dissolving, reality bending states can really get freaked out by how all that feels and goes by. But let's bring up some reports to compare this to. We got three different ones and the first one I want to bring up is the most recent DXM report, My First Encounter with DXM by Alexander, where he took only 400 milligrams but in his trip we see that he experienced a strong dissociative state filled with many closed eye visuals that was heavily influenced through music. Now at 400 milligrams, it would most likely be a second plateau trip, but we can see here that it's very possible to experience a trip like state even without having to go all the way and take 4 bottles of Robocough. For all we know, maybe grotesquely would have still experienced some of these effects if he waited but he only waited an hour before he began working on the next bottle. 
Then the next trip I want to bring up is First Time Leaving My Body by Safe and Sound, where he took 1100 milligrams, a much more comparable dose, but even though there still is a difference of 700 milligrams. But Safe and Sound 2 took a large amount for his first DXM trip ever. Not only this, but he did it at a party. He dosed the gel caps instead, and needless to say, he ended up puking and feeling like his stomach was going to kill him. But as for the trip itself, he somewhat blacked out. I would definitely say that there were themes of ego loss, and he actually came to envision his ego in different forms in his trip. I would say the level of intensity experienced in his trip and grotesqueries is very similar. Safe and Sound, though, had a much more rougher time handling it both mentally and physically. Part of this may be due to the gel caps, while another part may be due to his readiness towards the experience. Either way, though, when you get to doses that high, even 700 milligrams may not be that big of a difference. So we're going to leave it at there. Again, 1800 milligrams, I don't know, maybe? I mean... What do you guys think though? Let me know in the comments. Like I said, this was a crazy dose, crazy experience. If you want to see more DXM, more dissociatives, or any substance, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow the socials. It's been someone that's no one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.